bit of a rant video coming up here but why the hell is alcohol alcoholic drinks those kind of things so normalized in modern society people may not know this but i've said before ethanol creates carcinogens which leads to cancer ethanol's metabolism inside of the liver leads to acetaldehyde production which leads to potential increased risk of cancer because acetaldehyde is a group one carcinogen it's been tried and tested in humans it's known to cause cancer yet it's such a socially normal thing to drink alcohol and it's such a socially normal thing to do it when you're not supposed to considering sort of age things as well age disbarments you're only supposed to drink alcohol if you're over 18 you're only supposed to drink it if you're over 21 in the us and there were a few reasons for that obviously it's going to be bad for you because like it does things to your liver it produces acetaldehyde and all that sort of stuff but why specifically under 18s are sort of disbarred because it's still going to produce acetaldehyde for adults as well that are drinking it but specifically in kids it just stops brain development and that's going to end up leading to a few negative things you're simply not going to be able to fulfill your intelligence potential i suppose because you would have have you would have had hindered brain development because of alcohol consumption if you did it at those ages under 16s under 18s under 21s and all that sort of stuff yet drinking alcohol at those ages under 16s is a very normal thing you probably wouldn't be surprised to know to be honest everyone drinks alcohol under the age of 18 it's not sort of a whoa moment everyone does it i've done it put my hands up people can arrest me or whatever if they want please don't like yeah don't do that but i've done it so many people i know have drunk alcohol i'm not trying to like sort of make this such a taboo thing because it is it's so normal but why is it such a sillyly normal thing because it really does have an insanely bad impact on one's health and i just don't like the fact that it's so normalized how in society i am a 16 year old kid that is encouraged to drink more because i don't go out to party enough I, like my friends and stuff will say things like oh why don't you do that my parents my family they'll all say like why don't you drink more or whatever because it's one life like there's a lack of scientific education in the wider society but it's just odd to me that it's so normalized at such a young age i feel like this is a bit of a political thing but the under 18 rule or law that means that you're not supposed to drink alcohol essentially just doesn't exist because no one really gives a god damn about that anymore because everyone just likes to drink it means that they can be more confident it means they can party it means they can forget their worries so it's a win-win situation i drink alcohol i get benefits from it in the short term uh people get money from selling the alcohol win-wins all around problem is is that 30 years down the line you aren't as intelligent as you possibly could be because you have limited brain development as well as the fact that you may have cancer because of the acetaldehyde not trying to be like a fear monger here or whatever but it just blows my mind that it's so normalized among people my age especially you are weird if you don't drink don't vape as a 16 year old despite the fact that those things are technically illegal i'm weird because i don't drink and don't vape yet that's technically being law abiding not trying to be like a neek nerd all that sort of stuff I don't like to do it, not because of the law, but because of the impact on my health. I, it's a weird sort of uh, sociological, psychological, moral thing in a way. I, the law, obviously, I'm not going to break the law purposefully. But yeah, it's kind of, I'm trying to, trying to put my thoughts into the most definitive words as I possibly can to make this sort of rant a little bit more easier to understand. I guess that's the purpose of a rant. I'm getting my thoughts down not onto paper as I would in a journal, more into words as I am by speaking to the camera. Hopefully you understand my sort of point of view on that. Anyway, it's still, it blows my mind that I'm weird because I don't drink and don't vape and people who do are like normal and cool. It blows my mind. Hopefully you can resonate with me on this. I don't even like the taste of alcohol. It's absolutely disgusting. Things like beer, vodka, all that sort of stuff hate the goddamn thing it tastes absolutely rank don't know how people can like it don't know how adults specifically can like it even though they are technically legally allowed to drink it i don't know how they can put up and withstand with the taste of those sort of things because it's rank to me that's why i probably wasn't dragged down into the sort of partying lifestyle simply because of my taste buds so thank god 
be grateful for your tongue if you dislike the taste of alcohol and that means that you don't party that much because it could have saved you from having a lot of negative health consequences a few years down the line oh. hope hope you are understanding what i'm trying to sort of get out and say at this present moment in time don't like i don't like how it's so normalized among like kids my age among kids younger than me it's oh dear oh uh it's awful because if you don't party, if you sort of deprive yourself of the enjoyment of partying, you are weird. I don't find enjoyment out of partying, one, because I hate the taste of alcohol, two, because I just don't, like, it's just not, like, necessarily a fun thing, it's an overrated thing, in my sort of personal opinion, but I am seen as weird because I, de I deprive myself of the enjoyment of going to a party. I don't, I don't drink, so I don't get the sort of drunken confidence or whatever. I don't get to forget about the issues that I'm currently experiencing inside of life by not drinking and partying. But I'm seen as weird. It's just such an odd thing because I know deep down some of the people that may sort of say that I'm weird for doing this may like almost not think I'm weird. They're sort of like, you know what? Fair enough, mate. Well done for sort of staying away from these kind of bad things because they may not lead to good things in the future for myself. Yet I do it simply because I do it. Don't really have a reason or whatever. But that's just life, or whatever. I I suppose I don't really know. <sighs> Video was a bit short than expected. I thought I'd be able to rant on for a lot longer, but it seems my brain has run out with ideas. I just yeah, I can't get over the fact that I, I mean, Kari should drink more. It's like I don't I don't find enjoyment out of that. I find enjoyment out of recording this YouTube video more than I would by going to a party and having a few drinks. Despite the fact that that's it's just so weird. Despite the fact that that would be illegal for me to go out and have drinks. I'm talking about alcohol as if I'm allowed to legally drink it. It's such a normalized thing in society. I'm talking as if I am legally allowed to drink alcohol on a regular basis. I could probably I probably could drink some alcohol within 50 minutes of recording this video or whatever but it's so available and widespread despite being such a toxic and harmful thing nobody really notices what it's doing to society as a whole as well as the human body and it's just so normalized not only among adults as well which is a problem because while it's technically legal that gets rid of the whole sociological psychological and moral sort of stuff legal stuff etc it's still gonna have a bad impact don't recommend it like just because I'm a tiny little kid or whatever, I'm not that small anymore, thank, for, thank God for that. But please don't sort of disregard my advice simply because I'm young and haven't necessarily experienced the world yet or whatever. Because it's science, it's maybe for some people it can be quite hard to understand, but for me I really like science. It's such a pattern based thing which is very good for my brain to sort of process and sort of understand which is why I'm quite interested in it. I'm quite good at it in an academic sense but yeah I, I don't really know how to put my words into sort of put my thoughts into words and spoken thoughts here. Hopefully I don't have it as much on my mind as I previously was with how normalised alcohol was because I am talking about it right now like I'm legally allowed to drink it because it is just such a normal thing. People go to birthday parties they go to just parties they go to parties just for the sake of drinking and getting drunk there's not even any birthdays involved or whatever they just do it because they want to do it it's so widely available it's just socially normalized poison it to be honest i'm probably going to end it here don't really have much else to say on this topic but yeah that's about it don't really like how it's so normalized how it's almost socially acceptable poison in a way with all the scientific health effects that it does have on the body but also there's a lot of other uh more moral effects i would say how it just screws with your personality and just screws with your lifestyle not even considering anything scientific it just is a, not a nice substance at all for anyone to be involved with that's why i don't personally drink i'm saying that like i'm legally allowed to it's a very odd thing for society i wonder if they sort of teach this stuff in the sociology like law etc lessons on alcohol because the, the there's something weird about the fact that it's so normalized i'm talking as if i'm legally allowed to drink it yet technically i'm not and many people that i do know that do drink it they're technically not uh, allowed to in like a sense i mean i'm not gonna like snitch or do anything stupid like that i'm not that kind of person but it's just a very odd thing it's a very odd thing don't don't 
yeah, that's about it. Highly recommend subscribing and have a fun day.